this is a sponsored stream. This is, in fact, the first time I've ever accepted a mobile game sponsored. Yeah, I'm excited to try it. I have heard a lot about this game. I have heard that the game itself is very good. Personally, a little bit worried about pay to win features and stuff. We're going to be checking that out, checking out the cash shop like normal. I'm going to say exactly what I want, be that positive or negative about the game. We obviously need to play her. Extra thick. Oh my god, I love games that let you skip. I am not much of a cutscene person. There. Frustration, you have got multiple multiple projectile support. How do I use the LMP that I just got? Is that something I can modify? Ah. Install. I wonder if you can die in the tutorial. I feel like you probably shouldn't or couldn't be able to die here, right? I feel like they very rarely let you die in the tutorial. I just want to see what happens. Right. I was like, there's no way they're going to let you die. They're like, that's like one of the most amounts of damage I've ever seen in a tutorial of a game. But it makes sense that you can't die. Very high pack size already. We do have a link, so feel free to join. And yeah, I will let you know what I think, especially at the end. And we'll check out the cash shop and everything. If I play on PC, can I carry on my phone? I think so. Am I dealing 8 million damage? That is crazy. That seems excessive this early. I wish I could have the minimap in the middle of my screen, but I guess that would be bad on phones. I really want to see what happens when I die. Maybe I should try dying. Oh, you know what? Not here. Okay, we did it. There. Let's look at the gear. Helen. I don't know why, but this screen reminds me of like arcade games. Is this skill trees? Do I have that many skill trees? A skill tree per tribute? If I don't have points yet, right? Or do I? Is that what the diamond is? What's this diamond? Use Talonos to allocate and enhance your character. Use to reset. Okay, cool. Speed and lightning. We'll do this. 100% damage. Damage. Boom. No forgetting point cost before 75. That's nice. It seems that I just auto attack with the fire thing until the F is full and that does like a fire nova around me. Okay. I guess it doesn't want me to go there. This actually looks kind of fun. Yeah, it's, it's fine so far. Very good pack size for early game. I feel like that's something games always fuck up. Here, actually, let's see what happens when we die. I really want to die. Because I take a lot of damage. A surprising amount of damage for early game. Normally, it's impossible to die in these games early, but here it seems very possible. I wonder what happened. I see. Is the wow, I can failure. actually die. Take on the plus at the top. Oh! Oh! 
Oh, that is easier. Oh! Oh! Kill slot vacant. Chain. Ice bombed. Flame pillar. Oh! We'll do ice. So I already have flame pillar as well. I'll try ice bond. Yo, staring bond. It always doesn't know that. That is a ludicrous amount of damage. Okay, I guess we'll try a flame pillar. That's some deep. Less spammy, but more damage. Oh my god, it's basically seismic. That's awesome. Oh, Lord, he come. That's the whitest dwarf you've ever seen. He just like cupcakes, okay? I prefer my fire spammy ability than seismic. This is way more damage though, the cold one. I want to switch. So easy to switch skills. That's a plus. Oh, I can buy things. Wait, blink. This is different. Ooh. Purchased. Hello? Oh. Whoa. Can I speed run? Do I have two blinks now? I do have two blinks now. You just got seven. Okay, let's see about Blizzard then. Buy. So when it says buy, what am I buying it with? You just buy it, but no currency. So it's free. Oh shit, this is OP. Oh my god, I love that I have two teleport. Oh my god, this is like Warcraft too. That's amazing. Almost like smoke my flame dash. Yeah, this is nice. Look at my speed. Oh! Not a word. Okay, we went too fast. It pushed back. I got one shot. Okay, I genuinely didn't think I needed any tank. I genuinely didn't think I needed. Stop bullying me. I figured I could just glass cannon. I mean, I can. It's soft for It's fine. We just have a minor setback. Okay, at least I won't die on this. Hey, this is surprisingly challenging. I have no healing. I got rid of my healing. What's this? Oh, it's a target dummy. Oh, it's a DPS meter. So this uh, mobile game can have both a target dummy and a death recap, but Pee-wee can't. I mean, it's different. Oh, Shadow Dash mobility. Hello. Oh my God. Can I actually? All right. Wait, did they have a shared cooldown? No! The pace of the game feels great in terms of like having two movement skills. I wish I had a third. What do you guys think? I'm pretty zoomy. I think taking the healing was the play. That's quite easy then. What the? I wanted to go back out and get my loot anyway. That's why I died. This game is a little bit too easy for somebody of my prowess. That's why I haven't died yet. Merits. What are merits? Path of achievements? Is this just achievements and stuff? I don't care about achievements. 
Unless they give me something. They do. They do give me something. Is this a battle pass? I'm guessing this is a free battle pass. Achieves gives you diamonds. You have to go to the achievement and claim them. Oh, wait. You mean here? Oh. And these are used in the cash shop. So I can just play and earn that for free. Ding! Ding! I got a legendary. How rare is that? For those that play the game regularly. Common. Okay, cool. You could have just told me it was rare as fuck and I'm special. But you have to ruin a chat. Is there any PvP in this game? No. I don't necessarily care that much about that. But that for a lot of people will already make it quite a lot better. For those that don't know, one thing that is very, very bad about Diablo Immortal and why people were so heavily criticizing how pay to win it was is because you literally couldn't win in PvP without spending money. So that's already a pretty good thing if that there's no PvP in this. Game seems pretty fun. It's pretty great so far. It's a really like high paced start, which I would say is pretty uncommon. And I love that I have two movement abilities. Large talent not selected. Large talent. Oh. 20 attack and cast speed. Mine's four lightning red. 100%. Oh. Zoom in. Wait. Oh. I do only get one. Okay, cool. So now I'm zooming. Oh my god. Look at the cooldown. Oh, look at the cooldown. Oh, I'm invincible! At least I'm immortal now! Dwarf King has hit you for 15 points of physical damage. 36 points of cold damage. In the last second, you have suffered 121 points of damage. Cold damage, 88. Physical damage, 33. Do you know, honestly, as far as a death thought goes, that's not bad. What is this? Revival token. Wait, I just bought a revival token. Wait, how does that work? That's only for you not to lose experience. It's fi minus 5% XP. Okay, but I I don't know why I lost XP. I've never died yet. Oh my god. Oh my god, that does a lot of damage. I do a lot of damage too, though. The stack. You've unlocked the pack system. Check it out. What's the pack system? I like to pack node. Ellie resistance. Ellie resistance. Oh, 25% mana regeneration. Hello? Wait. Reverse. No, I do need both. Talent node. Oh, now I get the big one with movement speed and CDR. Oh. Oh my god, I actually am zipping. If I can get enough mana regen. Oh, I actually have enough mana regen. Look at the mobility. I'm just zipping. That's nice. Okay, let's look at the cash shop. Right. So I don't really really understand what does crystals that you get. Immediately you receive 300 Primo Crist after purchase. Log in for 60 jagged Primo Crist every day. I strongly dislike anything where you have to pay and then log in every day. I hope they change that. I'm going to give them like a big notice, especially of the cash shop things of things I think they should change. That you should just get everything you pay for. Like, that, that's honestly the worst, in my opinion. I'm gonna give them, like, a big feedback thing on things to, like, please remove this from your game. Because the game itself is pretty fun right now. But that, like, that's the first thing I see, and that's not great. This sounds like somebody that doesn't play mobile games. I don't. This is an extremely common practice. Oh, that doesn't matter. Just because it's common doesn't make it right. And again, like, using the definition pay to win is kind of pointless because everyone has their own... I just personally don't like anything that changes your game experience for money. Inventory, universal, time expansion. Shared among all characters in the current season care cannot be used across different servers. Seems very hard to unlock without the shop. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of that. One of those stash is stash space and the other is actual inventory space. Right. 
You can farm the Elixir of Oblivion very easily after maps. Okay, cool. That's good to know. Thank you. Here's what I really want to know, which is very important for me. Uh, do I have access to the entire cash shop right now? Is what I mean. We need to remember that also these prices are mostly probably not final. They can't increase before launch. Yeah, I mean, I want to give them feedback on this because I'm very against anything that changes your experience. As soon as we have the boons, then we've seen pretty much the entire shop. Does that seem accurate? So I'm about to get the thing then. So you see, you unlock the entire cash up very early. That's quite good. Ideally, you should unlock the entire cash up instantly so that you can make a decision early. And we have the season guide now. So this is the battle pass. Is any of this for free or is all of it paid? How does this work? Top row is free, bottom ones are paid. Weapon effect. So this is an MTX. So this is all free, the top row. I thought it was the other way around. If you own any pa pack spirit and it is in follow mode, it can automatically pick up high value drops. Okay, so that's bad. I don't like that. Right, it looked very good at the start and then when you scroll, it gets worse. You get a lot for free the first 20 levels. And then it kind of makes you want to pay. 20 is like buying levels. Right, okay. So 15 bucks. And that resets every 90 days. I mean, mm, not great. Chilling gift. I have no pulls. Free single pull. So you always get one pet? Is this, do you always get the same one or is this completely random? Purple good? Different, I got a reaper. I got a different one. I got a blue from mine. <laughs> Consider being luckier in the future. I have a legendary one. Oh, look at me. Miss Nobody likes somebody that brags, okay? See, that's funny. Because I just did. Unlock one pack node in advance. Increases my energy shield. Okay, well, you get one for free. That's good. I don't like the gacha systems. Oh, so I can... Oh, so I can earn these by playing. I don't have to pay money for them. Now I got a blue one. Like, a, a mobile game like this is obviously going to be less advanced than an actual role-playing game full-fledged PC one like PoE. They're a lot more in-depth, and also PoE is just the most in-depth one. But, I mean, gameplay-wise, it's been very zippy. The end game for the uh, game for mobile game is the best I've ever seen. That's awesome. We're hearing a lot of encouraging things. But the cash up is still pretty worrying, especially what I really dislike that I hope they'll change and I'll give them feedback on. I hate something like you have to buy something and then log in every day to get your full reward. If you buy something, at least give them everything instantly. Nothing like bonus for logging in every day on something that's paid. That I don't like. You also have an Elder and Uber Elder endgame plus a tower system that is very rough. Can you show me a video of that? So what is this? So for those that like Headhunter gameplay and ZP gameplay, how does this work on a phone? That's amazing. I mean, for people that like high octane speedy gameplay, that's pretty great. Is that Val Monshell? Oh my God, it looks like Val Monshell. In my opinion, like give feedback the if, if the game becomes less pay to win, support it. If it doesn't, don't. So I valed my boots and hidden implicit. Oh my God, I love that they have all the ropes. And now it's corroded, which is corrupted. So they're like heavily inspired by PoE, which is good. That's a good game to take inspiration from. I would say I am incredibly impressed as a mobile game so far. I don't know how you guys in chat feel. I don't like the monetization. I'm going to give them a big list of feedback on monetization on a lot of things. But I think if they can fix that, I mean, I think it'll easily be the best mobile ARPG. Easily. Again, thank you so much to Torchlight for sponsoring the stream. Hope everybody enjoyed the look. And again... Lawless game. Hopefully uh, the monetization gets slightly better, but really enjoyed playing it. It was very zippy, very fun. I think some of the end game bosses and stuff look really cool, and some of the end game skills too. And more importantly, try to die less than I do.